Hey guys, what is up? Dr. Roger Pinesett here, the study doc, answering one of your questions today. And the question is, hey Dr. Pinesett, what do you think about pass-fail classes? How will medical schools look at that? If you guys are wondering about your pass-fail classes and how med schools are evaluating it, this is the video. Check it out. But stop making excuses, stop whining, stop, right? Get at it. No excuses, just dominate. All right, guys, Dr. Andrew Pines at Study Doc here, and I'm, as always, I'm here to bring you positivity, productivity, to help you bring a better student, be a better pre-med, and to reach your goals, including getting into medical school. And today, it's about pass-fail class. Pass-fail classes. Is there anything better than taking a pass-fail class? You can just kick your heels back, just get that pass. Oh my gosh. But how do medical schools look at it, guys? And I think that when we talk about pass-fail classes, we have to ask ourselves, is this class a prerequisite for medical school, or is this class just a class? If it is a prerequisite, then you should not take that class class pass fail. Why? Because medical schools want to evaluate you and compare you across those prerequisites for grades. Therefore, most schools require that all of your prerequisites are taking for a grade. So if you take a prerequisite pass fail, you put yourself at risk of not qualifying and not meeting the criteria and the requirement to get into that medical school. So never take a prerequisite pass fail if you can avoid it. And if you can't avoid it, right? So you're in a class, it's going terribly, and you recognize you're not going to get a great grade in it. You may say to yourself, so, hmm, it's better to take it pass fail than to get this low grade. That is fine, but recognize that pass fail must be retaken again. So you have to weigh out, is the grade worth having to retake it again later? The best thing you can do is make sure you're prepared and in all of your prerequisites, you're excelling and making sure you're getting the A's or the near A's because medical school admissions are tough and you have to be excellent. And part of that excellence is getting stellar grade. And I think sometimes we, we can fall into the trap of telling ourselves, oh, it's okay, I got a B. Oh, it's okay, I got a C. No, you should be figuring out how you can get the A. And nine times out of 10, guys, the very simple equation to getting good grades is I ask students, how much better would your grades be if you just studied when you're supposed to study? And so if you're not getting the A's, the first thing I want you guys to change is studying when you're supposed to be studying. So that way you can make sure you're putting in the hours consistently, right? And throughout your quarter or your semester, so you can get those A's. And that way you can elevate yourself. The other thing is, is learning how to study and learning how to study well at a high level. I have an awesome course, the five pillars of studying less than better grades that teaches you full system for studying. You guys check that out in the box below but you must learn how to study to get those A's because you need those in those prerequisites. That way you're not forced to take them pass fail. Does that make sense? So for the prerequisites, we want all those with a grade. For the non-prerequisite coursework, it is perfectly fine to take those pass fail, but you must make sure that your university will give you credit towards graduation for that pass fail because not all courses are eligible to be counted towards your degree as pass fail. Most universities have limitations on how many courses be counted towards your overall unit requirement that are pass fail. So you really want to pick wisely which classes you're taking pass fail and which classes you're taking for a grade. But overall, if you guys can take a class for a grade and get a stellar grade in it, that's going to bump your GPA. Pass fail grades don't factor in the same way. So a P won't get you the 4.0. You need lots of A's and you don't want a ton of pass fail grades on there that aren't going to help boost that GPA and make you more competitive. The other thing I'll say about this is that when medical schools are evaluating your overall transcript, they're looking at the workload, the concentration, the difficulty of your schedule to say, hmm, how strong is this A? Well, an A, when that's the only class you were taking, is not as strong as someone who's taking four classes and gets all A's. Do you guys see? Additionally, if you have someone who's taking four classes for a grade, gets all A's, compared to someone who's taking four classes, only two of them for a grade, and gets two A's, which one do you think looks better to medical schools? Obviously the one with four A's, because that means they were excellent across the board, not just getting the passes. So you don't want to dilute your transcript with pass-fail grades. Does that make sense? Real simple, three steps. One, prerequisites, don't take them pass-fail, get the study skills on, get the discipline on to get the A's in those classes. Then for your non-prerequisite, med school prerequisites, figure out what the limit is at your school for taking classes pass fail. But if you can, take all those classes for grades because that's going to bump your GPA. And the third thing is, is be careful with pass fail grades, not to do like dilute the power of your transcript and of your grades and of your A's. All right, that simple guys, real quick at it. I'm Dr. Pineset, I am the study doc. And if you guys want more information, make sure you guys go through this YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, take a second, subscribe. Turn on the live notifications. If you're listening to this on the podcast, take a second and subscribe to the podcast, guys. I'm always bringing you guys excellent, straight to the point, truth about medical admissions and about being a great college student. And if you really want the whole
whole kit and caboodle, you're sick of searching, sick of pieces you want the whole cake, get to my website, studenttransformation.com, and get into a course, a program, a webinar, something to get yourself over that hump and to have advanced information about the process to be successful. You guys can check out in the box below, I have a free webinar for you all about how to study. Check that out, learn how to study, learn how to be effective, and get into medical school. I also am having a free webinar that's all about med school admissions, and it's about what you can do as a pre-med to be successful. So check that out too in the box below. I thank you guys so, so much for joining me. How do we always end our videos? No excuses, just dominate. See you guys next time. Today is the day, guys. No more excuses, no more complaining. You're going to take your future in your own hands. You're going to dominate. You're going to be successful. Get to my website, studenttransformation.com. I challenge you. What are you going to do today to make your life better?